Hey, Dollar Tristas, today we're at Levittown. And make sure to stick around. There's lots of surprises for you guys here today. Easter stuff is just trickling in, you guys. Really slowly trickling in and flying off the shelves. There's not much left and a lot is not coming in. But they restock the chickies and the eggs here in the store. I will say this, they have tons and tons and tons of Easter candy. Tons of candy to choose from for kids' Easter baskets. And they are starting to bring in more and more like kids' basket stuffers. This is kind of cool. It is stretch rainbow ball. It definitely is stretchy and sticky and rainbow. It's kind of fun. In the Crafters Square section, there are a lot of the same items, but I am seeing that they have restocked the Craftwise chalkboard paint, which is a great product. And this I have never seen before. It is by Martha Stewart Multi-Surface Satin Paint. That looks like a great product. I'm seeing this, I've never seen this before, and it's called Metallic Glue. That is really cool. I don't know what you do with it, but I love the color. Oh, it says it's great for slime. Definitely would be. Have all of their beautiful glitter glues. These are also excellent for slime right here in all of these great colors, the yellow, orange, green. Look at these beautiful stickers. Perfect for spring crafting. Those almost look like fabric. And then they have these. They're like gold foil. So pretty. This pack has seven and this pack has 12. Here's a 14 piece pack, more pretty spring florals. We also have this 15 piece pack. Aren't those gorgeous as well? This is a 13 piece pack of floral, all freshly, newly stocked. And these gorgeous flowers also, so pretty, perfect for all kinds of spring crafting. Nine piece dragonfly, anyone? And then they have these as well, just tons and tons to choose from. Here's something I like to see. I love when they restock things like this. This is by the Beginnings line of Hask and it is a coconut oil conditioning treatment. I love picking up specialized conditioning treatments by brand name companies at the Dollar Tree. I think at a dollar or a dollar 25, they are definitely worth it. By Fruit of the Loom, they do have these really fun socks you just get one pair for a dollar 25 but they are super cute and very cushy and they also have this print also really really luxe dollar 25 this right here it was part of a seven pack but it's here for a dollar 25 for one okay so this is kind of crazy you guys because these are labeled lady socks but the actual tag from the company says that these are girl socks. So these are probably going to shrink down so little. This store has a unique shipment of designer glasses. These are not the retro shades, but look at this. This is a tie dye effect pair of glasses and they are not Dollar Tree glasses. They just have this UPC code on them. Look at this fun pair as well. Do you guys see that with the rainbow dots? These there I am in the reflection, but these are like camouflage print, also super cool. These have a pink stripe, and they all have this UPC code on the front, which might damage the lens. I've never seen these in the Dollar Tree, and these are so exciting, because I love these, actually. They're like five bucks in the supermarket. Snyder's Pieces Cheddar Cheese, big flavor. You get an 11.25 ounce bag for $1.25. This is a steal, guys. I pay five bucks for these in the supermarket. We do offer this two ounce package of farm-raised popcorn shrimp at the Dollar Tree. And I have been very curious to see for $1.25 what that's like. I cooked it up in my air fryer. And that is what I got for $1.25. Um, for $2.50 or $5, you obviously can get enough for a couple of people. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about them. Let me taste one and I'll let you guys know.
it is a very little shrimp, a lot of breading, but, but it actually tastes pretty good. So I do give that a thumbs up, you guys. While I was at it, I decided to buy the Real Seafood Rising Tide Skin Off Wild Caught Cod Fingers, skinless and boneless, two ounces well. And I will say that for $1.25, you get two of these cod fingers. When you look at the ingredients, you realize that yes, they may have cod in them, but they are like two cod nuggets. And after air frying them, they kind of disintegrate. They're very powdery and I don't, I air fried them for a long time, but there's not, they're very segmented. I'm going to taste one boldly for you guys. I definitely like the shrimp. I feel like these cod fillets are okay, but for $1.25, I feel like you can find better items at the Dollar Tree. This is a new fun find by the brand Titania. It says a registered German brand. These look really good quality, soft touch nail clippers with the catching tray. And they come in green, this gorgeous teal, hot pink and bright orange. Okay, so there's even more imported stuff today by Titania, made in Germany. And look at this super industrial. It says made for men and they're really serious about it. It's in bold red letters, but I'm gonna use it myself. This looks like an awesome file really really strong and stainless steel okay so this year's easter socks are absolutely adorable there are some issues but absolutely adorable you guys this one right here says happy easter a a a w r i guess that's like r and it's a dinosaur eating up an egg and we have this super cute pair of bunnies with eggs and carrots and look at this llamas with flowers, with bunny ears. Look at this, you guys. It says, hello spring with gnomes. Really, really cute. And then there's this blue pair of Easter socks. And this one with the chick is also cute. It has like the snugadoo material. These are really pretty. Look at this gnome sock, also adorable. The gnome bunny that is. And here's another one that says, hello spring very pretty sock this one this one may be my favorite this one says smart chick i love it and here's a puppy with bunny ears everything gets bunny ears at easter any kind of animal they put bunny ears on it and here's a really pretty print with hearts and eggs and leaves and it's just a pretty abstract print so many cute spring socks to choose from i am finally seeing some easter signs this beautiful one says happy easter this one this one is really pretty. It says Easter blessings. I love it with the pink polka dots. And this one says Easter bunny stop here with the galvanized embellishment and the seafoam green with the white polka dots. They did bring back their felt bunny garland. You get eight pieces. This is a great pickup for $1.25. I love it. And they do have their window gel stickers in this scene for happy Easter. And they also have this one. This year they have four Easter eggs for $1.25 and these are like dinosaurs. I feel like there were more in a pack last year. I'm not sure, but I feel like there were more of those. And they also have these, you get 10. These are really cute with the animals. I love these. And 10 for a dollar and a quarter is not a bad deal. Also have these animals, there's a variety. They do have these really pretty ones that look like shells. I love these for little girls' birthday parties. Adorable. They do have the six packs of sports-oriented Easter eggs as well. Look at these super cute eight-piece packs of like Legos and they do fit into each other. That's a pretty great deal. Also for birthday parties, they have these that are like unicorn shaped. Really, really nice. These are my favorite eggs, but I do think that four pieces for $1.25 is a lot of money. They have lots of the DIY wood projects in the Easter section. Look at the giant carrot and the cute bunny. This is gonna be DIY'd in so many ways. I can see it now. And they do have the larger cuts of wood in the egg shape and the bunny shape. I did show that before. But these are new, these long signs that the Dollar Tree has been making lately. 
are actually, I have to say they're pretty nice. They do have this bunny cutout and they did make it in baby blue with an egg cutout, like a cute little cracked egg. Sure you guys can think of lots of awesome things to make out of those. And they have this DIY wood piece that says Happy Easter and this one with the bunny. And they brought back their wood laser cut initial baskets and they come in all sorts of letters but not every letter in the alphabet. They do have a galvanized egg, a galvanized chick, and a galvanized bunny, but these are very, very sharp. They did make these felt craft kits for kids. This super cute, very, very large headed bunny with a little, little body. And they have this super large headed chickadee. Actually, it's so cute with a little body as well. Those are great little kids DIY. And they have bunny paw picks. You get two for a buck and a quarter. And I can imagine you guys that are really crafty having these sticking out of the bottom of your wreaths. Very, very cute little addition. And look at this, guys. I've been wanting to find these for ages. These are part of the Easter collection, the wood beads on jute cord garland. How cute is that? The yellow with the chick. And they have this baby blue and pink set with a bunny. And there's the bunny, it's really cute. But this one is my absolute favorite. It looks like a giant carrot. I love this. And they did bring back their three pack of moss bunnies. I absolutely love these. They're a little lighter in color than they were last year, but these are so cute for DIYing. And at $1.25, they're a really good deal. They also brought in their giant craft bunny in styrofoam and their little mini craft bunnies and you get eight pieces for $1.25 and their styrofoam craft eggs as well. You get three yards of this craft trim in baby blue, yellow, cute baby pink, and this hot green. I love it. This is something I have not yet seen. It's a spinner and a popper so you can double fidget all at once. Pop, spinner, interesting. I am seeing a bunch of fall galvanized metal items like the leaves and stuff that they had in the fall but I don't ever remember seeing this giant pear guys isn't it cute I don't think it was here in the fall but it's here now a giant pear also brought in more trucks but this one right here is definitely smaller than it used to be it's actually very cute smaller truck they restocked the crafter square retractable holder which many people put their pencils and paintbrushes in. I like to put my utensils in this and take it to the beach. I think it's really good for that. This is another Lucky product. Lucky for Men deodorant body wash. It says 24 hours of freshness. You get 16 ounces in the scent cool water. So that's new. Also have these here. I've shown them before, but I figured I'd share them again. They do smell really amazing. Here's some more lovely items that have the London name on them. Crabtree and Evelyn London Pear and Pink Magnolia Uplifting Body Lotion. It's small, but I bet you it's amazing. 1.7 fluid ounces. This is new by the brand NPH alkaline water it is a half a gallon it's really huge guys this is a great buy then they have this alka 65 electrolyte sports water these are 50.7 ounces so they're definitely less than a half gallon and there doesn't seem to be any difference between the two of these but um the packaging they seem to be the same thing they both have electrolytes they're both purified water and they're both the same ounces but they do also have the six packs of water by the same brand, Alka 65, and I think that that's really great for on the go. I think that these decorative two-piece plant ties are so cute. I absolutely love the little frog man. So love that. And they also have this like chameleon that hides in your plant. I think these are adorable for $1.25. Literally super impressed with this. Do you guys see what this is? It's called a vanity organizer and it has like this level, this level, and this level. You can put brushes, sponges, so many. This is amazing for $1.25. I'm obsessed. 
it's clear. And then they have this, look at this, you guys. It's a lidded container. You can do everything under the sun with these. These are gorgeous for your vanity, for your bathroom. You could get three of them and just label them or do whatever you want with those. Those are amazing. These are literally amazing lip balms, you guys. They are imported, I believe from England. They're not a Dollar Tree or Greenbrier product. They are in these gorgeous collectible tins with this beautiful print on them. They're by a company called V&A. This is in Sweet Honey. This one is Floral Mint. And this one is Orchard Pear. Look at these beautiful prints. But here's the crazy thing. These are actually featuring decorative patterns by William Morris, which is like a famous designer in England. I don't know. I just don't know what this is all about. It says that the company's name is Wild and Wolf. This is so interesting to me. These are amazing looking. They would definitely be lovely little Easter basket gifts. This is unbelievable. I am loving all of these imported products because they actually seem like they're high end. This is again by the brand Titania and it's made in Germany and these are their essentials line. Really nice in these beautiful colors and they are pumice stones. Isn't that amazing? Great to do your pedicures. I'm loving all of the items that I'm seeing today. Totally loving how they match the nail clippers. You can make some beautiful sets, guys. We can even make like a gift set inside of this plastic vanity organizer. I am so loving these items today. They have amazing stuff in the store. I cannot wait to see what else they have for us. These gorgeous solar steak lights butterflies in mason jars are back again this year and i love them aren't they so pretty they come in this beautiful red monarch butterfly they have this gorgeous like red monarch style butterfly and the green pretty pretty blue and they come in yellow these are so pretty they are stocking all of their spring wind chimes and decor that they bring in every year and they're just lovely for $1.25 they're really nice but these I think are kind of exceptional and what they are are plastic watering stakes and they come in this awesome green this pretty pretty pink and this blue and these really work you guys you fill it with water turn it upside down and it waters your plant without you having to remember to do it great item. Spring is definitely getting released here at the Dollar Tree. They brought back these solar lights. I happen to love these. They don't really have like a spotlight. They sort of glow, but they look really gorgeous in flower pots. And they do come in this really pretty pink, the beautiful sunflower looking yellow. And they have the gorgeous purple. I love these and honestly price something like this out online guys. They're not a dollar 25. They cost way more than that. I can't believe it. I'm actually finally seeing an entire box of the fairy garden items, but in the um, farmhouse style, I have not seen this in its entirety. So I grabbed the whole box and this is one of the packages in the farm fairy garden. And they have this pack, it's like a piggy pack. So these come in individual packages. I guess that's why they're so random because they're coming into the stores. The set is in one box and they're getting multiples of that. But here we have some gnomes. Look at how cute that is. Those look like carrots, cabbages, and lettuce, amazing. Perfect for Easter decor. More gnomes really really cute how adorable is that pigs lambs and dog really really sweet now we're getting to the nitty-gritty here is one of the larger pieces I have never seen this one I love it it's like a chicken coop how cute is that and this is like a silo I guess yeah that's a silo perfect farmhouse decor I've seen this online. In fact, I'm gonna insert a picture of what it looks like when it's all, oh my gosh, this is so cute. They don't have more of these. 
They're already all gone. I can't believe I even found this box. What's this one? <gasps> this is the barn. Oh my goodness. How cute is that, guys? I'm wondering if you guys out there have seen this or have bought it. I really have been looking for this forever. And here's another chicken coop. And this one has a little chick in it. Oh boy, how cute are these? So cute. This may be my favorite. Looks like it's also a chicken coop. There's some styrofoam stuck to it. That is really adorable. Oh wow, there's even a third level to it. Oh, I'm seeing some spectacular pieces. Here's another little chicky on um, some kind of a wheelbarrow farmhouse piece. Very, very farmhouse. And here we have more chicks. Oh, wow. This is cute, guys. Definitely really springtime. Oh, my gosh. Really cute. And now we have some ducks. Are these ducks? Yeah, those are definitely cute. There's chicks and chickens and roosters and ducks all hanging out together. Wow, what else is in here? Oh, that one goes there. And then there is a cow at $1.25. This is kind of steep, but it is really adorable. There's a lot of pieces. There's 21 items to buy per collection. Wow, this is really cute too. It's a little horse. Now, I'm positive that these are the most popular pieces. I love this. I don't see any more. This gorgeous red truck with the bales of hay. Amazing. That is really amazing looking. And then look at this. That looks like it's got carrots in the back of it, doesn't it? I love this blue truck. It's absolutely adorable. I wish they had more of that. I would just buy one of those. Because, you guys, I know a lot of you have been looking for this, and I'm so excited that I found it. I'm going to be making this a secret pop-up giveaway. So write hashtag farmhouse style and the winner of this giveaway will receive the whole box. I'm going to pick it up for you guys because I know that if I haven't seen it, you guys probably haven't found it either. This store literally got just one of the entire collection. So the winner of this giveaway is going to get every single item in the collection. I'm going to pick it up today. Every single item that I just showed will be in this giveaway. You must be over 18, a resident of the United States, a subscriber to my channel. Comment down below, hashtag farmhouse style. Definitely like the video and share it so that if you don't win, maybe a friend of yours will win. We're definitely going to pick this up. I've been looking for it for ages. Let me know what you guys think of the farmhouse style fairy garden figurines and collection. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.